I'm going to show you how to install the latest notes 8.5 um, client on Windows XP. Now as you can see here I've um, got several Lotus installation packages um, which I've downloaded from my Passport Advantage um, website and here this file C1SQ5EN is the file which contains the installer for, um, for Lotus Notes. So I'm going to open this, click on run if I get any security warnings come up with Windows XP. It asks me where I want to save the files to um, for a temporary folder. Now this is um, actually worth altering a little bit because um, if you can get these files or, um, from the temporary location it will save you from having to um, extract them at a later date. So I'm just going to change where I'm putting that file. So just click on change and I can click on whichever drive I want to put on. I think I've got a bit more space on the D drive. And I'll just, there's no folder that I want, so I'll just go D and I'll just say 8.5 installer. And it should create that directory for me. Okay, next. So now it's just reading the contents of the package, checking to make sure that it's all intact. This will take just a little while to do. Now it's extracting the files. So while it's doing this, if I go to Explorer and type in D, call on backslash, you can see 8.5 installer, open that up, and there I have the files that are required to install Lotus Notes 8.5. So really handy to keep an extracted copy if you've got space to store it um, because it's going to save you the whole process of having to extract it, so um, several minutes in some cases. Extracting, and we can see new files coming out there. So you can see the main setup file there already, an MSI file. Now it's preparing to install. And now it comes up with a wizard that takes you through the installation process. Now just bear in mind while I'm doing this that I'm actually upgrading a um, copy of the basic um, client. So what you'll see here, you'll find that the installation for a normal installation, first time installation, is exactly the same as an upgrade. Okay, so nothing should really differ if you're just wanting to upgrade an existing installation. So click on next. It's asking me about the um, licensing terms, if I accept them or not. So let's say I accept them if I do. Next, username, I got my username there already. Then it asks me where I want to install the program files to, so I'm just going to leave them where they're installing to. That, by the way, is the default. And it also asks me where I want to put the data files as well. And I click on next. And I've got here um, any other options of, for things that I may want to install as well. So you've got the Notes Client, um, Designer and Domino Administrator if you're licensed to do so, Lotus Symphony if you want to install that, um, that can be installed from here as well, um, any, anything else that you, that you want. And then click on Next once you're done. It's got a few questions that come up here um, that you may want to have. Um, the installer alters things such as having Lotus Notes as your default email program, calendar, contacts, that kind of thing, or vCard, and then click on install. And now it will go through the process of installing Lotus Notes 8.5 on your Windows XP machine. After the installer has finished installing it, you get a message saying that the install wizard has completed. And click on finish. And Lotus Notes is installed on your computer. 
Now just before you finish, you might want to move those files, those temporary files out of that directory that we created before, somewhere on your network perhaps, or wherever you may want them. Um, but that's how easy it is to install the Lotus Notes client.